All right, everybody, thank you so much for having me. I wanted to know more, what was it like as actors for you both to understand each other, for your characters to come together as stepbrothers? Oh, um, Connor? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, you know, me and Luis were always constantly having conversations about our characters and how they felt towards each other and how we might, uh, you know, we wanted to find, because the script, as Luis told me, this really stuck with me and it's so true. Like when you see great actors doing these really nuanced performances, it's because they're finding these little moments in between the script that, that right. They, right? And so throughout the script, we, we'd talk about, okay, we'd say, okay, in this scene, like we need to grow a little more. Our relationship needs to get a little tighter. We need to have a little bit more of a positive outlook. So let's find really subtle moments to acknowledge that to each other. So it's just, I mean, it's about communicating. It's about trust. And, and that's how you build a more nuanced relationship that feels more grounded and real that people can relate to and see that arc. You know, you want to see the arc. Yeah, yeah, because it was really important for us. You know, Renato is this really successful businessman, but he is really wounded. He is a, a wounded kid because his father abandoned him when he was a kid. Um, right. So he completely shut down his emotions. And Asher is, is in this road trip to help him healing those wounds. But Renato has no idea about that. And, and, and we need to see that through the, the whole film, you know, that, that process of Renato uh, from being the I know everything, you mean nothing to me, to I love you, thank you so much, because now I'm a better human being. You know, that's, that's a big arc for a comedy of one hour and a half. <laughs> Absolutely. And that, that brings me into my next question. Was it difficult for you guys to embrace your characters or was it easier because of the script itself? I think we are our characters 100%. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's like, I mean, I think our characters are us on steroids. <laughs> I love that. Um, how, but how was it like working with the director itself? Did he give you a little bit of guidance in terms of stepping into that mindset of becoming your characters? Or was it ultimately just you both coming into your characters on your own? It's, it's both, you know, uh, at the end of the day, when you're an actor, you have to bring your side to the character. That's what an audition is, you know, it's that's right. your perspective on uh, taking it off the script and saying, all right, what does this guy bring to the table? Because I know me and a hundred different people went in for Asher and everybody gave their own version of it. And then the director, Absolutely. okay, I like this. And here's my idea of who this character is. And you slowly start to blend that and build it together. And, you know, you need everybody to build a fully fledged character. You need the writers, you need the director, you need the editors, you need your fellow castmates, you need everybody. Absolutely. Now, one of my favorite parts about this movie in particular was the fact that there was the inclusion of the Hispanic versus American stereotypes, which is so funny and led to so many comedic moments in the film. Tell me a little bit about that. How was that like for you guys to portray that? Uh, well, it, it, we worked on the script for, the, for three years developing this film. And I think it was like, uh, it was, I don't know, probably 20 or 30 years of Eduardo Cisneros and Jason Schumann's and my own experiences about this. <laughs> Comments sometimes uh, Americans does to to Mexican or Latin American or um, immigrants from all over the world. You know, uh, right. I really think that comedy is a tragedy plus time. So right. after a couple of years of hearing those things, in a way, they're, they're, they can be funny uh, and they can be a great vehicle to talk about how bad those comments are. You know, and sometimes those comments are they, they don't come from a mean place. They come from from ignorance in in in, right. in 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 a way, so um, yeah, we we just wanted to to laugh about that and and open a conversation about those issues. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. How was it like incorporating two different cultures, Hispanic and American, into this film? 
that was the whole reason to make the movie, wasn't it? You know, so uh, it was, you know, it was great, you know, as far as really, uh, as a filmmaker, really trying to capture both very authentically to really capture Luis's story, his character's story, where he's coming from, San Miguel, like, you know, where he's from, what he went through, what his father went through. And then you've got Asher and what, you know, you get a taste or hints of what his childhood was like and what he's going through. Um, you know, that was the whole, whole goal. Of, it's the whole movie, right? Is, right. Uh, is, you know, seeing the other person's point of view. Why is this story so important to share with audiences? Yeah, you know, it's funny. You, when you make a movie, at least for me, you, you never intend it to be um, a mirror of today's culture. You never, you, you know what I mean? You just make the movie and you hope hope it hits not. This movie is so timely and so, so perfect for right now. And Absolutely. so, you know, this is a movie for the family. And, you know, we all get mad or angry at our parents. We all get mad and angry at our siblings, but it's about forgiveness. It's about... It's about understanding the other person's experience and what they've been through and their journey and their point of view and understanding them and empathy, right? And having empathy for them. And so, uh, you know, that's what the movie's all about. And I, I think it's really going to hit an emotional chord with anyone who sees it. Is that what you want audiences to take away from this film? Is it, is it that empathy and that authenticity with family members specifically? Like, is that what you want for audiences to take away from it? Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't, it, I mean, obviously this is a family movie, but taking, you can also take away from it anyone, friends, uh, work people in regards to, in, in regards to they have their own experience. You know, we always... You know, right. we're always so we're always so wrapped up in ourselves in regards to this is why I hate him and blah blah blah. This is why I hate her. But to be in her shoes or his shoes and experience what they're experiencing and finding a common that's how you find common ground. That's how that's how you solve people who are divided. Absolutely. Now, Luke, one of my favorite parts about this film specifically was all the innuendos that you guys included between like American versus Hispanic and like all those funny stereotypes yeah. that one thinks about how important was it to include that in the film? Hugely important. Hugely. I mean, when we were working on the script, I, you know, in comedies for me, at least I want to go head into it, go face things head on. So that a lot of things that are being said could be very offensive, you know, <laughs> right. and, and that beginning scene when Renato meets Asher, you know, I would imagine people are like, did he just say that? You know, but, right. but, but that's the goal. The goal is to deal with this stuff in two ways. One is to find humor in it and to laugh at it. And the other way, the dramatic story is to, to see the heartbreak and to Absolutely. see how tragic it is. And all of a sudden you start crying. So it's, we're trying to attack it in, 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 both, in both ways, I guess. Listen, the the beginning part when he gets picked up at the airport and she's like Cancun and like all the stereotype, it had me laughing. It had me dying. But then towards the end of the movie, I was also tearing up. Yeah, it yeah. was pulling at my heartstrings because as, as someone who is Hispanic myself, yeah. even though I'm not Mexican, I still felt that. So I still related to it. And sure. For that, I thank you because, you know, this is a movie that could appeal to so many different people and the story itself is very relatable. So thank you so much for oh, thank you. I, a telling huge, that story. Huge, huge words, huge compliments. Thank you, man. It means a lot. 